Hi everyone, my name is Donnie. I'm a millennial. I've uh, been a millennial for about 27 years. And I'm here today to talk to you about the generation everyone loves to hate and why you all should be giving them an experience worth sharing. According to research, millennials value and spend more money on experiences over material things. This is obviously fantastic news for those of us in the travel industry as there isn't anything more experiential based than traveling itself. However, since millennials are physically attached to their mobile devices, we must consider that they are researching, booking, and viewing travel in very different ways than previous generations. In short, when millennials travel, they are planning less and sharing more about their experiences. In terms of planning less, roughly 50% of all hotel bookings in North America now occur within seven days of arrival. Millennials renounce the idea of itineraries as frankly plans aren't conducive to the adventurous experiences they seek. In terms of sharing more, with the rise of social media, travels become one of the most prominent status symbols a millennial can use to enhance their personal brand online. Whether it's tagging what hotel they stayed at or taking photos of every meal they ate, we're a generation of chronic oversharers. And you can thank Barney. We grew up with Barney as millennials. He taught us two very important lessons. Number one, sharing is caring. And number two, everyone gets a participation trophy, which single-handedly turned us into a generation of entitled brats. And to Barney's dismay, sharing is not caring. Sharing is about me. It's how us millennials build our carefully crafted, our heavily filtered, and our overly hashtag personal brands that are meant to convey our lives and status to our digital networks. Now, we in the travel industry must be aware of how millennials are viewing and sharing travel experiences, as oftentimes our brands and businesses can be at the center of their highly visible stories. To give you perspective on the reach a millennial has, let's consider how previous generations shared travel. Chances are, if you were a baby boomer, you went to your friend's house for a dinner party. And just before they serve dessert, your friend pulls out one of these ancient slide projectors to show you photos from their boring trip to Orlando. Hashtag no offense, Orlando. But once that projector stopped clicking and you presumably stopped drooling, it was over. The sharing of their experience didn't really make it outside of their immediate network, let alone inspire anyone in their extended network to travel. Fast forward now to 2016, and it's an entirely different story. We now have the ability to live broadcast out our travel adventures to everyone in our extended networks in real time. Everyone from close friends to family to even that kid from high school you're probably never going to see again in real life. Everyone is subject to a millennial's oversharing. And chances are, if you're that millennial bored at home scrolling through your social media, you may find yourself getting inspired or even a tad jealous when you see your friends posting about their travel experiences and you get from the Instagram app on your phones to other apps that help you research travel for this weekend. I like to refer to this cycle as the circle of sharing. And to walk you through its steps, let me introduce you to our typical millennials, Melanie and Al. Melanie and Al are my friends on Instagram who always piss me off with the coolest check-ins of their travels online. Step one, let's say I'm bored at home scrolling through social media. I then come across Melanie posting about a road trip in California and Al posting about his weekend away in New York. My entitled self thinks, when's the last time I got away? I deserve a vacation too. So then I get lost in step two, my own wonderlust. I then start searching through other apps on my phone that help me research travel and I find myself in the weather app and I'm stoked to learn it's gonna snow in the mountains this weekend. But because I'm your typical broke millennial saddled with student loan debt, maybe I use one of my favorite travel apps to research destinations based on price and proximity to me. When, lo and behold, I see a hotel in Aspen targeting me based on my GPS location with an exclusive promotion in Denver. Because it's within my budget and it's only three taps and a swipe away, I'm all booked for my weekend in Aspen. And then, because I did this all on my phone, I can quickly switch to my social media network to announce my plans to my list of extended followers. I then begin taking photos because, let's face it, guys, pics or didn't happen, am I right? <laughs> my weekend in Aspen is then broadcast out to my network of extended followers. I tag where I stayed, I take a photo of a drink I got at the bar, and maybe to show my artsy and perspective side, I take a landscape shot while uh, snowshoeing. What I want you all to consider is, is that without even consciously realizing it, in an effort to build my own brand, I managed to build the brand of every service I tagged in my post. I gave my social stamp of approval to their business and blasted it out like a billboard to every single one of my followers so that perhaps on their next adventure, they'll consider going to Aspen. The circle of sharing is constantly in motion. And what I want to leave you with is this. As millennials continue to plan less and share more, 
make sure your business is providing them an experience worth sharing, and you just may be at the center of their highly visible story for free. Thank you, and have a great MTS.